What's up guys and welcome back to Texas Fishing Force. I'm Mike and today we are doing a test, an experiment between two very similar baits. Uh, Berkeley Gulp and Z-Man. Today we're going to find out which one is truly superior. Gulp versus Z-Man, which one is better? Well, we're gonna find out today. Now, I would like to say that I have uh, zero affiliation or uh, association with either one of these companies, which allows me to do an unbiased test on these baits to truly find out which one of these is better. Now, full disclosure though, Gulp did send me this test kit. This is uh, from Gulp, from Berkeley. Uh, they sent me this to test out their baits, which there's something to be said about a company that is willing to put up their product against competitors and let random people like myself really do the test and, and find out for sure you know and and have that kind of confidence in in their bait that it, it will perform better so um but beyond that this is going to be completely unbiased um if z-man wins this z-man wins this you know it's uh, it, it's a little bit of a competition to see which one of these is better but uh now i would like to talk about these baits for a second because uh, the Gulp and the Z-Man, they're the same size. They're the same profile. The tails are the same. Everything about these baits is pretty much identical when you look at them. So when these are in the water, you know, fish see the exact same thing. They see the same, same profile. The action is going to be similar. Everything about them is going to be very, very similar. So the only thing that we can test to make one, make sure that one is better than the other is scent. Um, both of these are scented baits. They're known for being scented baits. Uh, and that's what we're going to test today. Now, there's no way for me to show you what these, uh, smell like because obviously you can't smell them, but, uh, we are going to do a visual test to show you what, uh, how these absorb and how these, uh, disperse that liquid and that scent. And so that is what's in the test. All right, now let me briefly explain how this test is going to work. Basically, we're going to take three of each bait, we're going to put them inside of a plastic bag, and we're going to add food coloring. Uh, 60 drops of red and blue, I believe. And we're gonna let those baits, we're gonna soak them um, overnight in that food coloring. Now the food coloring is just a visual representation of the scents that are added to these baits. Both of these baits are known for their scent dispersion, and so the food coloring is just a visual representation. So we're gonna let those sit for 24 hours, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put them in water. Now, this test is going to show you two things. It's going to show you one, uh, in 24 hours, how well those baits absorb that food coloring or that scent. Uh, and then secondly, we're going to put them into water and we're going to watch and see how well those disperse that scent, or in this case, food coloring. So let's get started. We got some gloves here. Go ahead and put these on so that we don't get dye all over our hands. First is the old gulp here. One, two, and three. All right, so that is the gulp. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Z-Man, throw three of those in there as well. There we go, one. Well, these are all like stuck together. One, two, and three. There we go, we have uh, three gulps and three Z-Mans in one bag. Now we're going to add food coloring. Now we're supposed to add 30 drops of each color. And 30 drops of blue. Now I've got to go add a tablespoon of water to um, get some of this food coloring to move around a little bit. And uh, then we're gonna massage it and let this sit for 24 hours. All right, so it has officially been 24 hours since those baits have been soaking in uh, food coloring. And well, here's that bag. This is actually pretty impressive. Um, so I'm gonna take one of each of these baits out. I'm going to uh, pat them dry uh, with a paper towel so that there's no excess sitting on there. And then I'm gonna show them to you, but I can tell already 
This is impressive. Um, let me show you. All right, so we've got these baits here. I've got some paper towels uh, that I'm going to uh, pat this dry with, but let me go ahead and pull one of the uh, Z-Mans out. Just the very first one here. There it is. Uh, now you can still see, so there's definitely some of the food coloring on there. Um, let me pat it dry. And all I'm doing is just doing a quick pat on this and nothing more. There it is. Uh, you can still see the red and green, uh, which based on what I can see in the bag, uh, this is more impressive than I thought. So there's the Z-Man. I'm going to uh, hook this up onto a jig head and we're going to drop in the water. But first, let me pull out one of the gulps. There is the gulp sitting on top. Look at that. So this, uh, this was originally red. And it looks black. So same thing, I'm just going to pat it dry real quick and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's dry. I mean, you can't see any red on this at all. It has definitely, I mean, this is more, I, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this to soak up that much more color than the Z-Man. I thought the real test would be when we drop this in water, but that alone, I mean, if this was a scent, uh, I mean, that's soaking up way more. So um, anyway, I'm gonna hook these up on a jig head, put them on some fluorocarbon line, put them, uh, suspend them underneath like a dowel or a straw, and we're gonna drop them in the water and uh, show you what this really does. All right, so we've got them both rigged up. I mean, look at the difference there. Uh, now that you can see them side by side, that is crazy how much more that gulp soaked up than the Z-Man. Um, that's wild. So we're going to drop it in water and uh, finish up this test. Wow, I did not expect that at all. Um, you know, I, I kind of assumed that Gulp was probably going to do a little bit better, but that wasn't even a comparison. Uh, I mean, Gulp dominated Z-Man in every single aspect. The, the soaking up of the food coloring, the dispersion of the food coloring. I mean, there was no comparison. Uh, absolutely crazy. I, you know, it, it blew my mind. Uh, definitely makes me, you know, uh, change my mind on what I would buy. I would absolutely buy Gulp over Z-Man, uh, you know, and I, I hate to be so incredibly biased, but after that test, there's, again, there's no comparison, you know. Um, in fact, I've left those in there overnight now, so they've been sitting in water for 24 hours, and yeah, you can't even see through the Gulp container anymore, yeah, and z man still perfectly clear, so... Yeah, there's uh, there's no comparison there, but I do have one last test that I want to do, and that's to see if I can catch some fish on gulp. Got one. Did I lose him? I think I lost him. No, no, he's just not fighting no more. He got lazy on me. A decent little trout. I mean, we can. I'll take them. 
Got that on the old uh, Berkeley Gulp oh, white. Here it is here, the old uh, grub, big old. Yeah, decent little trout. Yeah. Come on up, buddy. Come say hi. Oh, that's a good one. Now, there we go. Another uh, gulp, big old grub. There we go, we got one on. <laughs> First cast on the old popping court. This one seems all right. Solid little red fish. Uh, first one of the day. So does gulp catch fish? I'd say so. Um, it works really, really well. And I knew that it would. I've used gulp many times in the past and it's just one of those baits that it, it works so well on the Texas coast. Uh, I've never had a problem catching fish with gulp. It just works. But I do use a lot of different soft plastics and gulp is one of those that I think after this test, I'm going to start using a lot more because I was just so incredibly impressed. Uh, I had no idea that gulp would dominate Z-Man like that. That was, I mean, again, no comparison. But uh, in fact, I encourage you guys, go do the exact same tests that, that I just did. Go get a pack of gulp, go get a pack of Z-Man, put some food coloring uh, on, on them in a bag, let them soak drop them in some water and see those test results for yourself because I did nothing uh, to benefit one or the other. I was completely fair in this test and those are the results that came. It you know, it just impressed me. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like the video and comment below. We'll see you next time.